That's a big bag you got there. Are you guys ready to go to Patagonia? We're, ready. We're going to Patagonia. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Man, I you can't guys. Wait. We look so excited. Matt's gonna carry that in his arms <laughs> the whole way. <laughs> I plan on hunting the whole circuit this You're way. like Grandma Gatewood. <laughs> I think São Senhor Eduardo Santos. Eduardo Santos, favor comparecer ao Well, we are on the plane. We are about to take off. We're on our way to Porto Natales, but we got to get there going via Santiago for a 10 hour flight. Then we have a five hour layover, then another four hour flight to Porto Arenas, and then a three hour bus trip to Porto Natales, and then we have an hour and a half bus ride <laughs> to Torres del Pay Park. So it's so, going to be a while. So, what time are we going to get there? <laughs> well, let's see, today it's on. Wednesday at like 10 o'clock in the morning, and we'll be there Friday at like. 9.30 in the morning. Friday, wait, today's Wednesday, we're not going to get there until Friday? At 9.30. <laughs> <At 9 30. laughs> so we're going to be sitting yeah, in seats traveling. We've got, we've, got a long, we've got a long trip ahead of us. A little commuter flight. Yeah, the next time you see us, we'll be at uh, the southern tip of South America. Santiago, Chile. Did you ever think you'd be in Santiago, Chile? Never, ever, not one time. Yeah, neither did I. We're all here. We're gonna Barbara get some. Barbara how's it going? <laughs> Barbara Roja. How do you spell it? I, I now have a new trail name, it's Barbara Roja. Well, we're, uh, we're sitting here trying to sleep a little bit before our next flight, and as you can hear in the background, we got a little bit of noise going on. Uh, Jackhammers, metal grinders, no AC, <laughs> Chile. <laughs> Sir, we're going to need you to pick up uh, all that junk food off the ground, please. How are you guys feeling after a long flight, 24 hours on most of traveling? It's hard because we haven't left the ground food like, inside the... <laughs> so yeah, it's hard to tell. To, like, leave a building finally. <laughs> well, we're finally here in Punta Arenas. Everybody made it. Good morning. Yeah. Almost. It's five. It's almost... Almost what, 5.15? Almost 5.30. Yeah. It's 3.30 a.m. at home. Yeah. Oh, is it? Well, we're gonna catch our bus. We still got a three hour bus ride. As soon as Matt two hours. eats all those honey buns and fruit cakes. We got the straight up Magellan over there. town right here on the water surrounded by mountains we don't really know where our hostel is but we think it's that way so we're gonna just walk and see what we see <laughs> and there was this dog that was here he's he's just getting to sleep on okay let's and we're off. Well, we have a new hiking partner with us. Oh my gosh, I see it. <laughs> he decided to get up and come with us. What shall we call New hiker partner. Just beautiful mountains, like, all around. Look at this. We, do you think people can tell that we're tourists? <laughs> well, here's the giant map for all the hostels in town, and we're still having trouble figuring out which one. particular hostel isn't on the map. Yeah, our hostel has a different name. Matt, Matt booked the cheapest one possible, but couldn't afford to be on the sign. We still got our dog companion following us. We made it to our first hostel. We got our own private room. This is pretty nice. Yeah, this isn't bad this at all. This is so cute. Okay. Uh, host, hostel Natalia's. Not bad. It feels good to finally be here. Yeah, what's up? Okay, this is it. 
tomorrow we start hiking. Well, we just made it to Torres del Paine. Look at the view, it's pretty crappy. It's like another world. Look at the rainbow, it? man. Look I know. The rainbow. It's pretty insane. Look at the rainbow. If you can tell, it's cold outside, but you wouldn't be able to tell from this guy or from it's, this girl. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Seriously, it's not, it's not that cold. Put some pants on. We'll just weak. You're the only people wearing shorts, and then you got this girl. I had shorts. There's it nobody feels else. Good when you're it's nice out here. Yeah. It's, probably 50, it's probably 55, 60. It's it's oh. pretty. It's not cold. You're out. making me colder, Joe. I don't think Just, I have <laughs> it's windy. Might even be 65. Chair, are you getting you getting warm over there? <laughs> if you don't have a reservation, you ain't walking. That's what it says right there. Make sure you book your reservation before you come here, right? <laughs> yes, you should, book, you should book your reservations because if you don't have them, uh, you cannot spend the night. <laughs> We uh, cannot, can all capitals, walk the circuit. We we're have gonna reservations, we're going to do the W. We're going to see how it goes at that point. So if you're going to come to Patagonia, also, make sure you get here early because the line forms and it gets quite long. As far as you can see, yeah. This is where you check in right here when you come to uh, Torre del Paine. You check in here. These are the friendly park rangers. So, what, do we have anything else to do? Fire oh, class. the fire class. We have to take a fire class. Here we go. Welcome to Patagonia. Welcome to the original Patagonia store. This is the first Pat Patagonia store that ever existed. And it even came with horses. Well, we so are about to start our hike. I'm kidding. And when we are done today, well, halfway done, we're gonna be up there. Well, these are our first steps. We're heading to the trail. And then we're gonna be heading up there. Well, I can't believe I'm here. In southern Chile of Patagonia. It's just absolutely unbelievable. We haven't even gotten to the trail yet. I mean, when you're hiking towards something like that, it's just hard to beat. Right up there is the where we're hiking to, the final destination. Well, this is where we start the hike up to the base towers. We're heading up there. Right up the side of that hill in that direction. Hola. Well, we're climbing up. We're taking our first break. The first break. It's a view right now. Not too shabby. 
know if there's like two trails in Rosemary. We have a new hiking friend. Hey! Hola! Sherpa! Santiago. Look at this bird! That's where we started down there. We crossed that river. And there are a lot of uh, daytime hours. Well, this is a climb. <laughs> Not really any switchbacks so far. <coughs> it's pretty much just uh, straight up. And the sun is really bright. It's really, really intense down here. One of the only, like, it's actually they said a hole in the ozone layer in this area, so it's uh, really important to wear sunscreen. Well, we started right down there, and we're right up here. It's getting windy, I don't want to lose my hat, that's for sure. I can definitely say that I've never hiked anywhere like this. We kind of just made it to a, a little plateau and now we're going right in between the mountains. You can't tell it's windy up here. Real windy. Woo! Yeah baby. A little breezy. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. Man, that's some wind. Wow, look at this. We're going right down there. Unreal. Unreal. This is a butt kicker. down there. It just keeps getting better and better. Crazy man. Yeah. Just keeps on going, huh? Yeah. yeah Every does. time you get a beautiful view and you go up a little more, you get another one. <laughs> Well, we just started hiking from uh, the refugio, and the terrain's definitely changed through here. First time we've been in a forest. How pretty it is. Switchback. Switchback. Switch Well, I wasn't expecting to see a forest like this, honestly. It's 
nice when you get under the trees because it blocks the wind. Wow. Well, the last haul up to the top is pretty vertical. We came from that way. It's crazy. So got a little bit of ways to go. Oh my gosh, you can see people up there. Probably a good lookout from there. Not much further. Yeah, you got a nice little musty smell going on there. That's it? Yeah, oh yeah. We're getting close. We're getting close. So, so good. Right here. Super. made it. This is crazy. Unbelievable. This, I have never seen anything like this. Look at this. Wow. Oh my. This is, this is crazier than what I thought it was going to be like, man. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh my gosh. Let's get down here and look at it. Well, it was a climb to get up here, but man, it was worth every bit of that climb. Absolutely incredible place. Well, it was a great time here. Now we got about six miles to get back down to the bottom, but it's almost all downhill, so it won't take long at all. Absolutely stunning place. Well, one last shot. 
it's hard to leave this place. That's for sure. It's really hard to leave this place. Almost looks like the trail just drops right off. You gotta come out here and do this. It is the best hike I've ever done in my entire life. There he is. Yeah. We pretty much finished our hike. We came from way up there. That was hands down the best hike I've ever done in my life, and not even close. So I have to say, if you ever have the chance, come down here. Honestly, from Florida, our plane ticket was only $900 round trip. I thought it was gonna be more. Come down here and, and just visit this place because there's nothing, I've never seen anything like it. I really haven't. Found me a friend. Just chilling over there. Tomorrow we're going to be heading that way, kind of going around, uh, and we're going to be walking towards a massive glacier. In the pictures I've seen, it looks spectacular, so really can't wait to see that. We're going to see that in a couple days. I'm not really sure what we got in store tomorrow, but everything around us here is just absolutely st stunning and breathtaking, so I'm sure it's going to be incredible. We've got horses over here. It's a great, great way to finish a hike, right, Chair? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, that that one's gorgeous right there. Just eating grass right up here, next to the hotel. Well, it started day two. Out here, this is where we stayed, night one. Yeah, so I mean, it would be an eleven-hour day if we wanted to do that, based on the third mile. And it, there's where we hiked to yesterday. We got up early. <coughs> Everywhere you look around here, there's just incredible views. We're getting ready to start off today. We've only got about eight and a half miles. So we've got one of our short days today. So we're kind of taking our time getting started. It's only about 9.30 right now. It's still windy. Well, we're starting off day two. We just split off from the trail that we did yesterday to go up to the uh, towers. Today we're gonna be kind of walking around the mountain. It's only about eight miles to get to where we're supposed to camp tonight. But it should be a good one. A little bit obviously easier than what we did yesterday. It's gorgeous out here. Well, we got our first stream crossing. Looks like our feet might get a little wet here. Feels good. Feels really good. We just came up to a ridge, our first ridge, and we're about to have a different view than what we've had so far. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful lake, Glacier Lake. Wow. Every time you go around the corner, you get something better. <laughs> right? Man. Wow. Look at the horses down there. Look at 
Look at the trail. Just goes right down here. You got mountains, snow-capped mountains out in the distance. Well, you've done the tour to Mont Blanc. Which is better, this or that? So far, one. I mean, it's we've only one. been out here for one day, but I think this is consistent, uh, consistently more spectacular. But I think the views from the top of the Tour du Mont Blanc are on par. Yeah, but it's just it's different, I guess, huh? Yeah, and beautiful, just beautiful. It's more breathtaking. The colors out here are just absolutely spectacular. You got so many different greens and there's flowers blooming. Came down here in the middle of the winter for us up in the States. Down here it's spring, summertime. Summertime, but it feels kind of like spring too. Everything's flowering. This is absolutely the most beautiful place I've ever Well, we're taking more pictures again, of course, and you can see way down there is Joe and Matt. They're, they're speed hiking today. We only have eight miles, and we got a bunch of places to take some good pictures of, but they are uh, they're flying. But we're gonna hang out, take it slow, and just keep taking incredible pictures of the lakes and the mountains all around here. The ground, really, it just looks so cool. The hills over there, the colors, are unlike anything I've ever seen before. Come around the bend to a beautiful little stream tucked in here. Here comes chair. Feels like old times again, like we're back on the AT. But no, we're in Patagonia. We're in Patagonia. Man, this is incredible. Yeah, it is. Another incredible spot, another river crossing. This one's flowing right down from the top of the big mountain, right up there. We're still following along this lake. We're up a little bit higher right now. It's been looking like it could rain, but it's just been a few drops. But I'll tell you what, it's been overcast all day today. I even put a little sunscreen on, but the, the sun is so intense here. My hands are pretty much bright red right now, so. I should have brought some sun gloves like I used on the PCT through the desert section, but I really didn't even think about it. So the sunscreen that I put on was 50, and honestly, it's probably probably more from yesterday. But so I got my rain mitts on now, just to shield them a little bit from uh, the, the UV rays that are coming through the clouds. Well, I think we only had one bigger climb today and it's nothing compared to yesterday but I think this is it right here you can see somebody up there well we just made it to the top that was a pretty good little climb pretty much straight up look at this breathtaking view oh my gosh wow I think that's the back side of the towers, huh? Well, I think we're gonna have a lunch break right here. 
after coming up that mountain, here's our view. Looks like a good spot, huh? Yeah, I'll take it. Pizza guys should be here in 30 minutes. Oh my god, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> that would be sick. You can see way off there is where we're going. See some people there. Coming down. God. Hey, Two Tone, I think we found your mountain right here. This is Two Tone Mountain. We just we just named it Two Tone Mountain. So now you've got a mountain named after you at the southern tip of the world in South America, Patagonia, Chile. Woo! Is that what you wanted? That facial expression shot? Well, we just came up over the hill here and uh, Karen just started laughing. She can't stop laughing. But we, man, we got here and we got this view and it's the first view of the huge glacier that we're gonna be walking right next to. I don't know if you can make it out. That's it right there, that's that white thing. It's not a cloud, it's a glacier. Wait. You see it? We're gonna right next to Yeah, we go really, we go, the pass is right next to it. Oh, seriously? So then we got, just the bigger mountains, better shots of the, better views of just the huge snow-capped mountains. It's just incredible, incredible. We've gone only about six miles today. It's really slow going with the views, but the trail just came up and over, and just this amazing view of the mountains right here. It's just breathtaking. I don't know if the footage and the camera is really doing it justice. Here's the trail. The waterfall, man. You can see so much more of it from here than what we were seeing back there. Some cabins down here, too. Man, those are pretty cool. Look at that thing, man. Wow. I was always wondering last, yesterday when we were up there looking at those towers, I was wondering what would be on the other side, you know? And I guess this is it. I'm not sure what the name of this, uh, these cabins are, but, and I'm sure they're not cheap. You got your, everyone gets their own cabin. Well, there's water down here. What do you think? Amazing. It says two people maximum. Let's do three and just see. <laughs> it's windy. It's windy. Whoa. Oh my God. It is really windy through here. right down. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, we're right down here at the water now. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay, here's a little thing of mosquitoes. I see what people are talking about. I haven't seen many bugs, but people have been saying that there's been little pockets of mosquitoes. Hadn't seen any yet. Yep, here's hardcore stuff. Uh, we saw you way back there and we were like, I wonder if that's her.
Well, this is our first really good shot from the back side of the towers where you can really see uh, the division between them. That's pretty incredible. I just, I can't get over all the waterfalls too. They're falling off of them. Day two of hiking has been pretty spectacular. It's been different than day one for sure, but it's been um, just as just as incredible. I mean, the views are have been amazing. Uh, there's been just so much to look at, obviously. So it's uh, definitely different, but just as good, just as good. Best two days of hiking I've ever had. So loving every bit of this. Every now and then, you'll hear what you think is thunder and it's just huge avalanches falling off. Most of them have been falling. We've seen, uh, we saw one happen. They fall right off of that. They break off of that top shelf and crumble down. One of them, we couldn't quite see that and it was so loud. It lasted for a good 10, 10, 15 seconds. But it looks like just a frozen tundra up there. But once we get over here, around that bend, that's when it's really gonna start looking more arctic in nature, I think. That's where we're gonna hit the glacier and it's, it should be pretty incredible over there. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, like 90% chance. Uh, so I don't know what that's gonna be like because the weather's pretty intense here. And then after that, the nighttime is supposed to be really cold, below freezing, so I think that'll be cool though. We're totally prepared for it. Well, we're back walking on the beach again. This is this is probably the coolest beach walk so far, don't you think? I mean, there's been a lot of them. I mean, I don't know which day I like better, uh, today or yesterday. I mean, obviously, the the towers last night were the, probably the most incredible thing I've ever seen. But today, just the the views, the grand views that we've had pretty much all day have just been mind-boggling. It's, you know, it's tougher hiking, like I said earlier, but it's, the views are just so grand, you just can't stop taking it all in. I would definitely recommend, though, if you come out here, just plan to do shorter days. Don't plan to do typical mileage you would do if you were doing a through hike. Do shorter mileage, let's say 10 miles. I mean, you could maybe do 15 if you had to, to get to a certain place to stay, but do small days. You won't be bored, that's for sure, because the whole time you just can look at this. So there's just no reason to go fast through here. Well, we don't have too much further to go. We're getting close to the end of our day today. Camping right near the base of this, and then tomorrow we're gonna, if we decide to go in the rain, we're gonna take the valley up this way. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty incredible back there. The places we're staying are right down here. You can't really see them, they're kind of tucked in the trees right now. We made it to the domos. These little domes right here. Look at them. Right on the water. <laughs> That's cool. Aloha, Barbaroha. Which one are we in? This one? Number two. All right. Their beds are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Well, it's starting to clear up a little bit, or at least right where we are. But you guys have got to see what's to our right. We've actually got a rainbow forming down there. But we're heading this way today right up and over into there and it's we're going up another valley i think it's kind of like on the other side of torres the towers it's, it's cloudy and overcast but it's not really raining that hard hopefully it won't be too bad today well we're about to get started climbing up into this valley you ready matt uh -huh. joe 
having a good time right now. Heck yeah, man. That's a little oh, guard station. Right. Right. <laughs> this is one of the camp spots. Okay. Uh, there's not many tents here right now. Everybody's already hiking. Rain's picking up a little bit. It's uh, about six kilometers to the top from here. Well, the trail is now stream. No way around it, your feet's gonna get wet up this. It's a little bit steeper right here. <laughs> right? Wow. It's starting to get a size job smoking out. Yeah. Grizzling all morning. Yeah. I think that's the first look out right there. Yeah. Long. Yeah, we're close to the first one. I think we're to the first little plateau. Let's see what it looks like up here. Up here. Yeah, a little breezy. Oh, I'm gonna get more windy as we go up higher. Whoa! <laughs> I got that on tape. <laughs> you should have seen what it looked like right when you were saying it's a little breezy. It was like spit in all different directions. And I was just about to say it's holding strong. This is crazy. Strongest winds I've ever been in, hands down. Making our way up, man. Woo! It is straight down. <laughs> Well guys, I don't know if the video really does it justice for just how beautiful the forest is through here as we make our way up to the top. The wind is so strong until you enter into the forest here and it really does a good job of blocking it. You can still hear it just racing above you. There's so much moss and stuff on the trees. It really does look cool. Uh, the trees just go kind of moving in all directions just from all the wind. So much vegetation, much more vegetation than I, I thought that there was gonna be here. I just kind of imagined it to be not as pretty 
when it comes to the greenery, but man, I was wrong about that. Well, Joe's already made it to the top and it's been raining a lot. What's it like up there? Okay, we're hiking up to the uh, Britannico lookout. I just made it up to the top. I just barely made it to the top before the clouds just... And I caught the view, caught the panorama, and now it's just pouring on us. Well, hopefully about, hopefully it'll it'll clear out here. Get back down in the rain. Yeah. And Joe's also testing out our new rain uh, rain gear. We've, we switched materials and... New jacket. It doesn't have a name yet, but so far it's doing pretty well. Yeah, but it, it, it's... It looks really good, and so we're just testing out. We figure there's not a better place to test it out than, than the through the rainstorms of Patagonia. So, right, Steph. Steph, there Woo! we go. So we got a little bit Steph, further. That's not, that not your rain jacket, is it? Yes, it is. It is your rain jacket. That says I look ridiculous. <laughs> this, is Steph, this is Steph's homemade <laughs> Z-Fax rain jacket. Uh, you look like a. Oh, and you got the new rain pants yeah, so on too. Have the new pants. How are your pants doing? Well, I have to keep pulling them up because it's warm. too long. Well, yeah, mine are. keeping me warm and dry. I've got the opposite. My pants are so tight I could barely get them over my hips and my butt since <laughs> I've gained all this weight. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we're gonna keep on hiking. We'll see you back down there, Joe. Well, we're here at top, and as you can tell, it's raining. from it would be incredible I mean it'd be 360 degree views and with the towers if it wasn't so rainy well it was a great hike we're soaked we're gonna head down and I'm gonna put my camera up before it gets ruined Hey Matt. Hey Joe. How you doing? You feel like you're on top of the world? The bottom of the, the, bottom of the valley, something. So now that we're getting further down, you can tell it's clearing up a little bit. It's still really bad where we were, but it's clearing up some. It's pretty sick. Well, we're here at Camp Italiano, where we're about to cross the bridge. Yesterday we hiked up the valley that way. Up there. And today we're going to be walking all the way around this way. Bouncy. We've got our biggest day today, about 12 miles or so. And here comes Karen Wang, nice and slow across the bridge. She's a little nervous, and she's also deathly afraid of bugs. Well, we're about a couple miles into our hike today, and it's we've been going through a lot of burnt section so far, which is kind of sad, because it's the forest through here has been very beautiful. So it's sad to see that much kind of destruction. We're going right down here to the lake. I think we're gonna end up right next to it. Hola. Yeah. Here's Joe. Sure. I'm going to see what they're doing real quick. What's up? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Heck yeah. When did you guys get here? 
Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, yeah. Ten minutes. We explored around. They got a little mini store here. Awesome. You can there's only no... buy lunch, and lunch is at twelve. And you gotta pay in advance. Yeah. Huh. It looks like there's a little place you can sit inside with tables for oh, the campers. Nice. Okay. So okay. Go okay. Sit over there. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna explore the store real quick. Food, so I'm gonna. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Are you guys ready to start hiking? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Man, look how beautiful it is out here. It is windy and that wind is really cold and it's freezing. We've got some raindrops and sleet kind of falling as well. It's like totally different over here, isn't it? I mean, I know it's like burnt, but the mountains, it kind of look like Southern California. I love that ravine. Yeah, that was cool, huh? That was cool. Except it was a little windy in there. It was like a little wind tunnel. Yeah, it was a little windy. <laughs> well, we've spotted our first iceberg. I don't know if you can make it out. Yeah. Is that your first iceberg you've seen? First, first yep. Iceberg. There we go. I'm getting on. I'm getting on film. There's a blue iceberg like that. We can see our first huge glacier out there. I don't know if that's gray or not. That was intense right there. Make it out through the clouds. The sun's shining and it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, we just got to a spot where we got a little bit better view because it's kind of clearing up a little bit. And you can see the glacier. Kind of. This is the weather in Patagonia. Oh, yeah. You get a storm for five minutes, and then you get sunshine for five minutes, and then you don't know what's next. Yep, man. Whew. And our, and our refugio is somewhere over there close to the glacier. We started to come up on some pretty cool flowers. We haven't really been seeing a lot of these, but it's beautiful. Adds a little bit to the trail. Seen some pink ones and some white ones as well. Well, we're near the end of our hike and you can see down there the refugio that we're staying at. And then right behind it, you can see the massive glacier. It's just hard to describe, honestly. It's pretty incredible. Well, we just got here to Refugio Gray. Too bad you can't see the glacier from here, but this is still pretty spectacular. Como te amas? Me amo Samurai Joe. <laughs> oh man, it smells good here. Who's got my pizza? The pizza but dinner is at seven. We gotta reserve it now. How Look at this, this is awesome, huh? Beautiful. I'm gonna be sitting here. Pull up one of the girls out of the bottom bunk. I might take the bottom bunk for the first time. Wow, well we made it guys. How was that? Where does that rank with, we on your favorite hikes? That, that was pretty. pretty awesome. That was pretty sick. Yeah, awesome. it's the, at least for the weather. Yeah. I bet. I bet the girls will get a really nice view of the sun out. Did, did you guys get the great view of the glacier? Was it clear? Uh, we got a view, but it wasn't sunny. Yeah, well, it, was little, it was a little bit sunny. It yeah, was, was completely clear. Look, look at it right there. That's what it looked like. Yeah, right we we had a great view of it. Yeah. I'm gonna climb up there tomorrow. Yeah, yeah a girl it's told be us. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. A girl told us if you can't go all the way to the top, they don't let you. Make sure you go at least to the second bridge. She said it's incredible from okay. the, at that point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay, let's get checked in, guys. Let's see what this place looks like on the inside. I don't know if you got to, but people are. Oh, people are taking their shoes. It's muddy. This is definitely the nicest. Uh, Man, green floor. This is the nicest one we've stayed in so far, for sure. I mean, you got. Hola. Oh, you can rent a towel for two. So, wow, this is incredible. Dude, we got another six. Private, man. Yeah. This is incredible. Just the right number of people to do this trip with six. It <laughs> is right. Oh, I'm yeah. happy. We have strangers I'm so day. happy right now. Yeah. Although it worked out last night. Man. Well, we made it. We're going to relax now. Yeah. Interviewed me for like a long walk. It's called a long walk. It's in. A long walk's in. How long? How, how long is an article? Uh, I don't know. So I mean, is it more about, about his story? So I just got to this gigantic suspension bridge that's overlooking Glacier Gray. I'm gonna climb it and share it with you. that glacier gray part of the patagonian ice field to top it off we have a nice little waterfall this is second bridge on the way up to john gardner pass and now i'm looking down on gray glacier pretty cool It goes on for miles. I think it's four kilometers across. I don't know how long it is. It's a long way down. Holy shit snacks, look at that. That is pretty sweet. 
This is probably one of the scariest bridges I've been on. Oh my god, look how far down that is. On my way up to uh, John Gardner Pass. And the views are already spectacular. Can't wait to get to the top. I've got about another half hour up and then all the way back down. I'm almost up to the top of John Gardner Pass. Right now it's not too windy, so it's a good time to take a video and look at that view. I just talked to a local. We have to go to a place called the Roots of Chile and have, I think he said polento, something like that, with seafood, pork, chicken, potatoes. It's just like a big skillet with everything you can want in there, I think. It sounded fantastic, so that's what I'm gonna do as soon as we get done with this trip, is go to Puerto Natales. I'm gonna have that Chilean food. This is phenomenal. We didn't think we'd be able to get up here, but here I am. Do looking behind me down at the glacier. started today. It goes all the way up, up to that pass. So here it is. This is the top of John Gardner Pass. The highest point on the O circuit. Well, we finished the W circuit yesterday, and we're about to take a ferry back uh, to the beginning, but we're about to take a two-hour ferry that's gonna take us right up to the glacier, because you can't really go, you can go a little bit up to the glacier, but you can't go to the top of the pass without reservations. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get those for the backside, so. But here's where we are, where we're gonna catch the ferry. But there's ice just floating right here in the water as well. There was a pretty good chunk right here, but it just broke, split up there. Right off there in the distance, you can see the start of it. It's so hard to really, I think, tell from this video just how tall that is. Well, our ferry has arrived. Our ferry to take us back to the very beginning. What happened, Chair? The bug got me. The first bug bite of the trip, and it was right when right you were getting we on the boat. <laughs> we're not even hiking. I hadn't been bitten by a single bug that wasn't in the bed. This this is a lot of fun, but the bad part is I can smell my feet. <laughs> and it smells really bad. Unreal, unreal, and it goes way up high.
Well, he's making our drink here with the ice that they picked up from the water. Well, we just got our Chilean drink. What did they call it? A sour? Pisco, Pisco sour. sour. Pisco sour. It's a Chilean drink and it's made from the ice from the glacier, from the water, which is pretty crazy. So, what a great trip. Huh? And this is a great way to end yeah. it. Cheers. 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 Let's see how it tastes. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Good? That is good. Man. Yep, I'm glad we did the ferry. I'm glad we did the ferry. Thanks, Steph. You're welcome. It's all thanks to Steph. <laughs> Thank thanks, you, Steph. You're welcome. Here we are at the other side. It's much taller over here. It's so blue. Well, we're leaving one side. That's the second side that we saw. And now we're coming over to the third side. Just breathtaking. Well, now I can say I've seen a glacier. Yeah. Yeah. Just incredible. Hard to be in bad spirits here, huh? Well, we just we just made it to uh, Lago Gray Hotel. It's the most beautiful place we've been so far. It's so nice. We're in the restaurant. We're gonna eat some food here. And we have some pretty good views, actually. Incredible. Right, Karen? Mm. We're gonna eat some food and enjoy it. Well, this is uh, this is the way to finish a hike right here. <laughs> You know, just sitting in these nice, plush, comfortable chairs, drinking a, a little bit of a view. Patagonia beer. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh. And with a nice little view. Look how small the people are down there. Yeah, we were just over there. That's where we took our picture. This one. Right out there. It's where the boat dropped us off. And way back there, you can see the glacier where we just were. So now we're just gonna sit here and relax for a while. Well, <laughs> Chair just ordered a sandwich. <laughs> Just for me. Oh my yeah. god. Just for you. Thank you. Oh, that Enjoy. is so funny. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And two for oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, my I'm going to need something to wash this and down. Here, no?
get a little break. Hot, 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 hot. humor, hot. see? <laughs> yes. Z Pax humor, uh, I think. Yes, it's raining out there. Oh, it was, you know. Where? It was like two. Yeah, it was like raining. We're so high up that it's raining. Yes. At this altitude. Yes. A lot more about the channel. I'm just like, man, I was not one of them. Maybe it's her mission. Yeah, but. it is. She really likes it. I she think, like, somebody's got to do it. Partying in this cab, baby. <laughs> he brought wine coolers and everything. <laughs> There's our place. I'm full, I'm tired too. 